Just days after the U.S. flew two B-52 bombers through China's newly declared air defense zone in the East China Sea, Japan and South Korea have also defied the Chinese by flying military surveillance planes through the disputed airspace. The U.S. and now Japan and South Korea have all flown military aircraft through the zone without identifying them first, defying the demands of the Chinese who unilaterally established the zone on Saturday. It touches airspace claimed by South Korea and Taiwan and overlaps with similar zones previously established by rival Japan. It also encompasses a group of contested islands known as the Senkaku to the Japanese and the Diaoyu to the Chinese. These islands are rich in natural resources such as oil, gas and fish and have been a source of tension in the region for decades. The New York Times explains when China established the air zone Saturday, it announced it would police the airspace with military aircraft. A move that raised the specter of Japanese and Chinese fighter jets intercepting each other. The move drew immediate criticism from both Japan and from the United States, which is obligated by treaty to defend Japan from attack. But a reporter for the BBC explains an important distinction between an air identification zone and a sovereign airspace. It is not a country's airspace. Uh, China has no right to shoot down or to send aircrafts to follow even uh, the aircrafts that enters this zone. China announced Thursday they would now dispense warplanes to patrol the zone. U.S. Vice President Joe Biden is scheduled to visit China, Japan and South Korea next week, where it's likely the new defense zone will be a major talking point. For Newsy, I'm John O'Connor.